soundtrack. What is up? Welcome back to another edition of Sacktown Movie Bus Television. Once again, it's your boy, Kier. And today in the studio, we have Shania Hayes, who is a podcaster, photographer, content creator, and an actor. So you're multi-talented. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thanks for, thanks for coming on. Appreciate you for having me, Kier. Oh, no, not a problem. Not a problem. So I know I've worked with you in the past, mm -hmm. um, but um, how did you get into all these different various forms of, I guess, skills that you have at this particular point? Honestly, um, really just being a creative person. I was a creative person as I was young. Um, when I was in high school, I started taking photography. And from there, it kind of just sparked everything else for me. I did theater in high school, migrated to film work. Um, and then it kind of just progressed after that. And most recently, I've just been trying to progress more as an actor so i have been doing some short films here and there um but i also started a podcast two years ago i am a part of a podcast i'm a podcaster too um i just like to call myself a jack of all trades i have all these skills why not use them no absolutely there's nothing wrong with that i mean you got to kind of you know put your eggs in a bunch of different boxes and mm -hmm. see kind of what what turns up from that yes sir. so um so i know we talked about the podcasting and mm -hmm. i believe you're a host of two separate podcasts Can yes you sir. speak a little bit to that yeah so i joined the funny business podcast about five months ago it's been cool a great group of guys you know they host comedy shows here in sacramento um you've been to a couple of i've them. been a couple of events yeah. and was also interviewed by you but you actually in and buddy as well with the funny business yes as well. sir on our yeah. podcast yep which yeah. is on youtube you guys can check it out <laughs> um but i started doing podcasting about two years years ago during the pandemic well around the pandemic I caught COVID I was bored in my room it was like two weeks I was like what am I gonna do I started a podcast it's the best time to do it COVID I think is the time everybody kind of decided they want to kind of get I think that's when we started our uh uh, movie reviews and oh, actually yeah. was during the was during COVID. So yeah, just we're bored at home and said let's let's just do something. Yeah, just do something fun. So no, absolutely. Um, and then you said you've been a photographer for like 10 years yes, now? Yes, sir. And when did you, how did you get into photography initially then? Initially it was high school. Um, like I said, like high school was really the start of it. Um, learning about different photographers like David LaChapelle, um, Howard Schwartz. Um, I just found their creativity really different. Um, so that's what kind of made me spark into photography. <laughs> um, I kind of been like a traditional photographer, I guess you can say, doing portraits for the past 10 years. But okay. I really want to get away from that um it's cool it's fun but it's just not really my niche anymore i really want to be more creative with it so lately i've been just trying to progress more in my concentration which is called light painting and it's really just long exposure photography okay. where you use a flashlight and create different images and kind of want to combine both worlds okay and so obviously you started off kind of doing more of uh, the photography behind the camera so mm -hmm. what kind of prompted you to make the switch to get in front of the camera yeah. then because I just kept saying, you know, I, I, sh I, I can do that, too. Right. I always told myself, you know, I love being behind the camera. I'm the person behind the camera. But it got to a point where I was like, you know, I also like being the person in front of the camera. Right. So why am I not giving myself that opportunity, especially if that's what I want to do, ultimately? So I told myself, you know, no matter how I look or what I'm doing, <laughs> just do your best and just if, if it's something you want to do, just do it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're only going to get better the more repetition, the more times you mm -hmm. do it, the more times you get in front of the camera and act. You're going to pick up on certain things, certain little nuances, and just get better and better as you go along. Most definitely. Yeah. And I think it's just good to have a good knowledge of just how everything works, how actors work. So you can be a good person behind the camera. So you can be better with production side or post-production, pre-production, just just understanding right. each person's uh, level and skill, what they contribute to the whole overall piece no no I think that's great I mean I think it's very important to have an understanding of what people do behind the camera before mm -hmm. you actually get in front of the camera so you know that the difficulty of the jobs that they're doing as well yes. so no no it's great uh, so I know you've worked on a few short films here uh, in Sacramento and a yes, feature sir. film as well you want to kind of speak to a little bit of some of those films and kind of what those were about and sure yeah well the most recently one that's only out right now it's on YouTube on my YouTube, mm -hmm. SMH Podcast, yeah, I'm YouTube. Um, I did it with my friend D-Rock. It's really when I started getting into filmmaking. Um, he had an idea for, like, how he got into comedy, so we just 
got a bunch of comedians who are local in the Sacramento area and just created the film. It's called A Rock in a Hard Place. Okay. Um, and then after that, I just started writing. And I just started any idea I had, I just started writing it down. So me and um, my boyfriend, who was also on the show, um, his name is Pharaoh. He, yeah, um, he's been he helping me. Yeah, yeah, he's been helping me write a lot of uh, the features in the short film. So I've, I've just had a lot of different ideas. And um, he's also helped me right now. We're in pre-production, sorry. For uh, The Fallout, which is um, a drama s short film um, with, that I came up with with my brother a few years ago. Um, we were just in the living room talking about ideas, and then it just sparked. So came up with the script, and then now I'm in pre-production for okay. it. Can you give us a little bit of insight in kind of what it's about? Or It's about deception. Okay. okay. It's about lies, deceit, <laughs> and deception. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> that sounds like fun. So is it going to be more of a, it's going to be more of a drama than a comedy then? Yeah, it's more of a drama than a comedy. Perfect. Um, and then... Um, FPA. I'll let you talk, speak to what that's about. Or that, what that's also another uh, short film. I, I'm actually um, planning to shoot that as well, too. We're trying to secure a location spot right now. Uh, but my comedian friend, D-Rock, who I've been working with, he and a bunch of comedians, we just came together, came up with an idea. Um, contrary to popular belief, it's not about, because it's called FPA, but it's really called Fat People's Anonymous. And I don't hope it's like no, no shade to anybody overweight. Shoot. It's it's really just about a therapy session so they can go get their sites out about, you know, their overweight problems. But Got it's it. really a comedy bit uh, for comedians to just, you know, talk to each other and really just have a laugh. Absolutely. Not a problem. That's no, I mean, I think that sounds great. Um, so it's more of a comedy. So mm -hmm. obviously and it's more of like a skit. It. So it's, it's yeah. no more than like five pages long, um, probably like no more than like five minutes. <laughs> And then what do you plan on doing with these uh, these short films? Are you guys submitting them to festivals? Or are they just kind of just throwing it out there on the internet? The or? ones that are short films, they're going to be submitted to festivals, yes. Okay. But the other ones, they are going to be uploaded to YouTube as YouTube content. Um, so not really too much uh, pressure on to those. But the fallout is going to be submitted to a film festival. Perfect. All right, well, sounds good. Well, before we let you go, I mean, where can people find you or where can we locate you at if we want to know more about you and kind of, you know, follow you and things of that nature? Yeah, you can follow me at SMH Podcast 96. All right. You can follow me at Bunny Business as well, too. Um, I'm, I'm everywhere. You know, just get connected with me. Um, so, yeah, just follow me if you want to work together. I love working and collaborating with other creators. So always here to work. Well, sounds good. Well, you heard it right there. So uh, follow Shania and uh, she's uh, doing some big things. And like I said, I've worked with her a couple of times and you also covered um, my film festival earlier yes. in the year as well, which we greatly appreciate. Which that. was so much fun. Actually, yeah. I loved all the films that were going out, especially all the creators. It was great talking to all of them and hearing the making of their stories and how, you know, some of them were true stories, but they ended up just mixing it. And I just, I love being in that atmosphere. It was a great atmosphere to be in. Absolutely. Well, no, it was, it was a great time I think had by all. So I know I had yes. a fun time. Yeah. So. <laughs> it was work, but it was a lot of fun as well. <laughs> Most definitely. Absolutely. Well, we thank you again for being on the show. We'll definitely have you back again, especially once you get done with some of these projects. Yeah. And um, obviously if you're looking for a film festival to submit to, you already know. Of <laughs> so, but I thank you again for being on the show. Thank you. Uh, absolutely. Well, thank you once again for watching Sacktown Movie Buff Television. We'll be back again soon with another episode. Have a great day.